Hey guys, welcome to another episode. Today I'll be viewing a tropical greenhouse as you can see here. Now this is the outside of the greenhouse. We're gonna take a small tour. First, let's check out the structures. Here we have a tank. Now this tank is for irrigation purposes. There's also a pump station beneath it here. It's on a automatic timer where the plants are given uh, water through the drip irrigation system twice per day. You can see the pump and the timer itself. All right, this area is grilled. As you can see in here, that's a timer. All right, that's the filter or the filtration system. Here we have the pump, All right? And basically we have containers for mixing the um, nutrients all right outside here you have the tank where the nutrients and the water is stored um, you see in the greenhouse and this is in Jamaica as a tropical greenhouse here we have the entrance to the greenhouse kind of a quarantine zone to prevent insects from getting in as you can see here we are seeing a quick preview of the house all right so first we need to go inside as I said this is a double door system first you enter this door and then you'll close it behind you and then you have a second door now this prevent insects from actually getting inside of the greenhouse so it's like a decontamination or a quarantine zone there should be a foot bath here for actually killing bacteria off your feet and so on all right so you can see as we enter the house we have the drip irrigation lines all right on one side here we have tomato on the other side we have sweet pepper and on the sides we have various crops that we're experimenting with over here as you can see we have um, cabbage we have some color low as well right and just just for experimental purposes all right here we have the sweet pepper all right. okay as you can see your sweet pepper and they have been recently sprayed and as you can see the wet spots these um that's caused by the drip irrigation line Okay, here we have the tomato on the other side, so half of the house is tomatoes, the other half is sweet peppers. And as you can see here, you, you see the drip line, the drip point, and this is where um, when the system is on, the drip irrigation system. The top is made out of a clear plastic. No water is allowed to get into the house, right? So all the water is controlled through drip irrigation lines. The side, we have the antiviral mesh that prevent insects from getting in, and also um, allows um, air and so on to circulate through the house, all right? So as you can see here, these plants were recently transplanted, okay? And this is part one, I'll be doing a follow-up with part two when the plants are much bigger. Now, you can see here, both sides, plants, and they have been spaced according to the holes that are placed in the drip irrigation lines, here. You can see the end of the house. You see the metal frames as well that constructs this type of house. As you said again, it's a tropical house, tropical greenhouse um, found here in Jamaica. Here we have some plants here. And this house was recently um, established. And you can see the well the entire length of the greenhouse. And we'll be soon we'll, these tomatoes are getting large so we'll have to set up the, the chalices so that they can get proper support i'll actually show you that when we are actually finished and right, then you can get a better view of the house from here each row was almost 100 plants so on each side you have at least 100 plants the greenhouse this size holds about approximately 700 plants and as we said, half is in tomatoes, the other half is in sweet peppers. And we are experimenting with various crops on the side over here. All right. You can see as we walk along the length of the entire house. Here we have um, the Jamaican Kalalu. Here we have some more sweet peppers. You can see the drip lines again. Okay, and here we have, um, we have finished with the chalices and they are actually here to support the plants. As you can see, the tomatoes will actually grow and as they grow, we will adjust them on the chalices. So I'll see you next time where I actually show you 
these plants when this entire year is um, fully grown and the plants are producing like this. Thanks and bye.